Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the remaining portion of partition bond. So in, in the last lecture, we have discussed about partition bond. Okay? So in that, we have discussed about brick partition, clay block partition, hollow block partition, glass partition, as well as timber partition. So today we are going to discuss about remaining types of partition wall. Okay. So uh, first is timber partition wall. So basically, uh, timber framework is properly supported on the floor and fixed to the side wall. So if you want to construct a timber partition wall, then first you have to prepare the timber framework. And that framework is to be supported on floor and it, it should be fixed on both the side walls. And in between, then you have to close it for the, for the timber partition. Now, there are various advantages of this timber partition. First is light in weight and easy to construct. This is the uh, very uh, important advantage, or you can say it is very much advantageous from the weight point of view as well as construction point of view. Also, they are rigid, and uh, its formation of framing is such that there is a, a low transfer in the triangulation manner. So, triangulation of framing is used to transfer some load. So, some load can be transferred in the form of triangulation weight. Okay, so that we will see how this frame is adjusted. So it is also cheap where the places uh, it is available in plenty. So in the mountainous mountainous region, where uh, this timber is available in plenty at a very uh, economical cost, then it will be very economical. But disadvantage: it is not soundproof. Neither it is a fireproof. In fact, it provides more uh, air to the fire. If fire uh, outbreaks, then uh, it will give uh, it will work as a particular adding. It, it, it will add to that fire. Okay. It is not suitable for the damp locations. So generally, whenever there is a chance of entry of a moisture from the basement or uh, if the groundwater table is high and uh, from the floor, if the, uh, from the foundation, if uh, some uh, water is coming up. So at the damp location, you cannot uh, provide such kind of timber partition because it will decay. And also there are always chances of decay by termite, Udai, Udai language, okay? So that is the but obvious uh, disadvantage of this timber partition. There are two types of timber partitions which are widely used, common or stud partition. And the second is thrust or breast partition. Now we'll see both in detail, okay? So this is the picture of timber partition. And this is also widely used uh, in many buildings, okay? So first is common or stud partition. So basically it is consisting of a complete uh, timber framework so this timber framework consisting of a vertical members so here you can see these are the vertical members all vertical members and here in this figure these are all vertical members and these vertical members they are called as studs and which are a uh, bridge between the two horizontal members so this is horizontal member so they are acting as a bridge for the two horizontal pieces okay so this horizontal pieces, they are short pieces. They are called as the nogging pieces. These nogging pieces, they are fixed to this stud. Okay, so here you can see these are all horizontal pieces which are called as nogging. So here also in this figure, you can see it is nogging pieces. Okay, so basically this timber framework, it is uh, started from this two side walls. So the whole framework it is fixed in between these two. Okay, now the upper and lower horizontal members so here there is an upper uh, horizontal member which is called as head and a lower uh, horizontal member which is called as seal and here uh, there is a fixing arrangement uh, with this seal arrangement as, as well as this head arrangement that is supported and that is fixed with the help of this bed plate with this particular wall so here on both the side you can see this bed plate top and bottom sorry so uh, these nogging pieces are the short horizontal pieces which are introduced to make the studs more stiff. So vertical pieces which means horizontal pieces and that will make it more stiff. And stud of the short length on the opening. So here also you can see the vertical pieces are there. So this is basically the opening. So here you can see two door post and door head. So above that whatever vertical uh, members are provided they are look like studs so that are stored only but that are of short length that are called as conjunct so these are some uh, components of the uh, common partition framework which is used for uh, timber uh, timber type of partition walls 
So here in this uh, particular 3D view, you can uh, visualize all the pieces, horizontal piece. Then here you can add the your particular timber sheets. Okay, these are stored vertical portion. Then head plate. Then uh, this sole plate, which is called a seal. And this is door head. Here, this is called as functions. Okay, and that is supported on the flooring. Now, trust or braced partition. So it is also similar to common type of partition, but it is provided with the additional member called braces, steel strap. Steel strap means steel na patta. Okay, and bolts. So here you can see this inclined arrangement, inclined support, which is called as braces. So here this type of inclined. This is are provided as support, and here you can see about the door opening. Uh, this is called as bolt, okay, and that is uh, connected with this bracing. So here, all these inclined member they are called as bracing. So other members are same. That is vertical member studs, horizontal logging pieces. Uh, this door studs, then steel straps. So here the steel straps, steel na patta. Just for the connection, they are used. And here, similarly, this base, uh, this bed plate that is generally provided to connect the seal and head with the particularly uh, wall. So we know that uh, wherever this uh, groove, so in the uh, brick wall, you have to provide the groove. You have to insert this uh, seal and head portion, and below that, you have to provide the bed plate. Okay. So all other members like stud, head, and seal and logging pieces are same. But the only thing is that. Uh, this additional member called as bolt that may be provided inclined pieces which are called as braces. Here steel straps are provided. Also, this kind of uh, trust or the braced partition it can carry some floor loads in addition to its own weight. So some uh, floor load can also be taken by this type of trust partition. Now uh, this inner tie. So here you can see in between head and seal portion you are having inner tie also. So this type of Inner tie that may be also provided to make the framework more rigid. So just to have the rigidity, more rigidity as compared to your common partition, the additional members are added. And then after you have to fix the sheets of timber. So here also another uh, arrangement of the trust partition. It is similar to uh, earlier one, but here there is a, instead of uh, uh, that bolt and uh, inclined pieces. Here just uh, these braces are provided. Okay. And here there is no arrangement of bolts, but here there is a steel strap. So instead of bolt, here here only punctions are provided. So these are the different ways in which you can arrange all the members, basic members of timber framework, and in between you can fix the uh, timber sheets. Next is straw board partition. Basically, as the name suggests, straw. So that turn off you can make it. Turn off you can. That uh, that is generally used for making this partition. So it is useful where removal of the partition is frequent. So at that particular point, you can go for such kind of straw wall partition. So generally, it is made from compressed straw, which is covered with the thick paper or hardwood. So as a straw wall, and then you can compress, uh, uh, you can make the compressed straw, uh, compress karo and cover it with the thick paper or hardwood. Okay. Then uh, once uh, this board is ready. Then you have to uh, keep this uh, in a position. Okay, so slabs are kept in position, and so this way you can keep all these slabs in a positions, vertical position, and then you can join it with the cement mortar. And after it is done, you can paint it or either you can use it uh, or use the semper on it. So basically, it is heat and soundproof uh, partition, and uh, but the disadvantage is that it is more affected by moisture. And also, it is not fireproof. In fact, it will act as a additional material to aggravate the fire, like timber. Okay, so that is the disadvantage of this stovepipe partition. Plaster slab partition. So here, uh, it is made up of burnt gypsum or plaster of Paris, which is mixed with the sawdust. Sawdust means lacquer no wear to reduce its density. So basically, plaster of Paris and uh, uh, that lacquer no wear that are mixed together. And uh, that will be used for making such kind of plaster board. So such kind of plaster board can be made. So generally, these are the slabs of five to cent, uh, ten centimeter thick, and they are prepared in iron or timber na mold. Timber ke mold ya iron ke mold mein banaya jata hai. They will or just act like a sheet or the slab. 
and to form the rigid joints suitable grooves are generally provided so uh, suitable grooves can be provided in the plaster slabs and nails and screws that can be easily driven into this kind of slab okay so similarly you have to go for the framing so this vertical studs and uh, top and bottom runner whatever we are calling it is head and seal in case of the timber partition and this lateral runner uh, lateral uh, runner okay that, that are uh, in between you can fix this particular plaster board so this can also act as a partition wall next is metal partition as the name suggests metals are to be used so either mild steel or bronze that are commonly used uh, metals for the purpose of forming the partition wall so basically here this vertical post are erected so here you can see these are the vertical post so basically in all the partition wall this framing is very important so this vertical post are erected and the panels are formed by fixing the sheets of ms or bronze so uh, ms or bronze sheets that can be uh, fixed in this particular framing okay and the hollow space if some hollow space is that uh, then it may be filled with the some good insulating material so some insulating material you can fill in the whatever hollow space uh, while fixing this particular sheet in this frame so the as far as the features are concerned they are light in weight they are fire proof as well as they are strong easy to construct and shift so it, you can easily shift it at another places so generally it is useful uh, used for the offices and industrial buildings you may find such kind of a metal partition wall next is asbestos cement partition so basically this ac it is the asbestos fiber when this asbestos fibers are used to reinforce thin rigid cement sheet then it is called as the ac sheets so uh, asbestos ke fiber which are reinforced with the cement sheet then it is called as ac sheets and that are used for forming the partition wall so here also this framework is to be erected first so framework of the timber is prepared and the ac sheets are fixed either on one side or both the sides of the frame so framework is to be prepared and then you have to just fix this particular ac sheet so here you might have seen this kind of ac sheets they are uh, widely used as a roof covering okay in india so patented slabs of ac sheets are also available and generally this patented slabs that are consisting of two sheets of uh, this plain sheets so you can see two plain sheets one and two two plain sheets of 10 mm thickness and which is attached to a inner corrugated so this is called as the corrugation okay so inner corrugated a uh, sheet of 5 mm thickness and this kind of sheet that is a patented form okay so such kind of uh, sheets with the two plain sheets which is uh, in, in between it is having corrugated sheet so you can say corrugated sheet is sandwiched between the two plain sheets which is a one kind of the patented form of ac sheets and this uh, sheets are placed in positions and they are joined by the cement mortar so as far as the features are concerned they are mostly adopted in the work of temporary character so jahan pe temporary aapko karna hai then after you have to remove it you can use such kind of partition they are light in weight impervious that they will not allow water to move through it they are also durable water tight and fire proof so these are some of the uh, features that this ac sheets partition can possess next is wood wool slab partition so basically it is consisting of wood wool okay so it is made up of the mixture of the portland cement and wood wool or wood shaving it is lakda no ghar type of kehay that is the wood shaving since so, the wood lakda na there are chini and the je nikle that uh, that is called as the wood wool or the wood shaving so cement portland cement and wood shavings that are mixed together and sometimes some quantity of uh, small quantity of gypsum can also be added okay and then such kind of sheets or the slabs of different thicknesses that are made from this wood wool so that may be called as the wood wool slab mixture of wood wool plus portland cement and sometimes gypsum is added so these slabs are also placed in position and they are joined by the cement mortar and the surface is uh, then painted or distempered okay similar to earlier we have discussed okay as far as features are concerned they are light in weight they are durable also they are economical uh, as far as the uh, uh, visual sound and heat they are uh, insulated so uh, they serve as a visual sound and heat barrier and uh, they got affected by the moisture easily so this is one of the disadvantage that can be there if you are using this wood wall or uh, timber partition in 
practice okay so moisture is the major concern otherwise uh, uh, this heat barrier then uh, sound and visual barrier that that is serving good okay so this is the picture which shows such kind of uh, good wool partition wall so uh, in, at the end we will just summarize, uh, summarize all the advantage of the partition wall so basically all the partition wall it divides the whole area into number of room okay so you can get more number of rooms in the given space also it provide the privacy and to some extent it will also uh, provide the privacy from the sight and sound also also they are generally light in weight as compared to uh, other solid wall thick wall they are cheaper in construction so economically economy is obtained if you are going for the partition wall then occupy the lesser area so more area would be available more floor space would be available and easy to construct and you can construct in any position so uh, they, these are all the uh, advantages of partition wall so depending upon the situation you can adopt a particular type of the partition and you can obtain all the exam uh, all the uh, advantage that you want to bring okay so with this i would like to end this presentation thank you very much